Well, hello, friends, and uh, welcome back to Commute Talk. It's Tuesday, because I took yesterday off and stayed home and uh, did some bug fixing. Because uh, uh, what happened was my manager told me that I have all these vacation days that I need to use up before the year runs out, because they're not going to carry over. So figured I could uh, take a Monday off. And I've actually <laughs> I've put in every Monday from now on. Uh, as a vacation day until the end of the year because <clears throat> why not anyways so <clears throat> someone asked me somewhere I forget about my schedule <clears throat> like uh, what does my programming schedule look like uh, how much time do I spend on serenity and it's a question I get fairly often and I guess I can try to try to explain how much time I spend because it seems to be very interesting to some people. Um, so the schedule, let me start from the beginning. Um, when I started working on this project, I was spending a lot more time than I do now because in the beginning, I was fresh out of um, like every day of the week rehab and uh, I had literally nothing to do and I was staying at a relative's house and I had a computer that had no internet access, but it had a C++ compiler. Uh, so, and I had I had no job to go to, no no like obligations other than um, some volunteer work I was doing. But it left me with a lot of time to spend on this. So I was easily spending at least eight hours a day. Realistically, more like twelve. Um, for, uh, for like a few months in the beginning there. Um, and I eventually moved out to a cottage that I rented, um, and which actually freed up even more of my time. So I don't know how much time I was spending then, but it was, it was most of it. Um, I, would, uh, I would drive into the city like uh, every other day to go to um, some meetings. But other than that, I was like programming, basically. And that went on for a few months as well. So in the beginning, I was spending like an intense amount of time. And I think it's important to, to mention that because uh, I hear from a lot of people who are getting into building something like an operating system or, a, or like another type of a huge project. And it's important um, if you look at Serenity and you look at the rate of progress that I was making early on, it's important to know that I did not have um, many outside obligations or many other obligations. I was able to put all of my time into this. And um, not only that, but I am not a beginner programmer in any way. And um, the combination of experience and, and like a huge amount of time uh, allows me to build big things quite fast. And um, I guess what I'm getting at is don't worry if you don't make the same kind of progress in um, the same kind of time because very likely you were not in the same situation I was when I was doing this uh, early on. And if you are in the exact same situation, then, then please reach out to me because I, I would love to hear from you. Um, but um, it, it was a, it was a unusual situation, I guess I would say. So don't, don't, uh, please don't measure yourself against it because um, it was, it was not a normal situation. If you're doing a hobby project um, or an outside of work project, you should be measuring yourself against yourself and trying to improve on a day-to-day -day basis, a uh, day-to-day -day basis, uh, instead of comparing yourself against anyone outside of yourself, really. Uh, I mean, that, that's like kind of neutral or uh, generic advice, but I really believe that. Um, I know that it's tempting to compare against other people. Like, I know I was always, uh, at least early on, I was looking at other, um, like, one-person operating system projects and seeing, like, what kind, of, what kind of rate of progress did they have? And I was thinking, like, oh, can I go this fast? Can I go faster? And then after, after you know, a few, I don't know, a few weeks or something, I sort of let go of that because that was not helping me. 
it was um, putting me in this stressful mindset of thinking that this was some kind of a contest. Um, anyway, that's enough rambling about that. <clears throat> uh, but the, qu the question, I guess, was about what kind of schedule do I have? So yeah, so I wanted to mention that early on I had a very intense schedule every day of the week, many, many hours every day. Nowadays, uh, I've moved into the city. I don't live alone anymore. I uh, have a job that is a, it's a Swedish style eight to five job. Um, and um, I commute. So it ends up taking a lot of my time. Um, now I do, I do uh, work on Serenity in the lunch break sometimes and uh, during other breaks that come up, but, um, ah, um, but generally, um, I would say I, I do most of the work at home, right? So, um, my schedule has been severely cut back because of this. So what I do is when I wake up in the morning, I generally spend, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes looking through uh, emails, um, checking the IRC back buffer, uh, looking at GitHub if there's issues, pull requests, stuff like that. Uh, but I don't generally I don't generally have time to review code in the morning because I'm kind of in a hurry to make eggs and uh, get going. But um, then if I, if I have some pull requests or something, I try to look at them when I have a break at work and um, then it's really mostly about uh, when I get back home from work. Like that's when I do the bulk of my development. And um, as you probably noticed, I, I do videos quite regularly or frequently. So uh, obviously that's part of my daily routine. I try to, um, I try to spend up to one hour or so uh, recording some kind of development session every day. And um, usually before that, I try to um, I try to do a little bit of uh, some kind of development or, or programming on some part of the system. Not necessarily the thing I want to make a video about, but just some kind of development, just to get into the um, into the mood or the <laughs> the way of thinking uh, to to de rust myself on the keyboard because <laughs> I switch keyboards when I go from home to work. So it takes me a moment to adjust. And just try to get that out of the way. Um, and of course, also, sometimes I would do um, um, like a little bit of reading before I uh, start making a video. Just uh, if there's something I would like to look up before I start, like something that is very text heavy, that I don't want to sit and read long pieces of text in a video. So um, sometimes I do that. Um, but generally, they're, they're pretty off the cuff. Like, I certainly don't have a script <laughs> or, or really a plan. Like, I, I have some idea of what I want to do. Um, and then I usually try to say that at the start of the video because that makes me stick to it. Um, you know, come to think of it, it would probably be such a different thing if I just started the videos by saying, so we're going to do some stuff, right? Like, I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do today, but let's get started. Um, but I, I love this um, thing that happens when I scope the video up front because it makes me stick to the same thing and it makes me pursue that thing until the end. So I'm, I'm happy that I discovered this simple trick for myself. Um, but yeah, so I come home from work, um, I do a little bit of programming, and then I try to do a recording. Um, sometimes I go for two hours, but usually just shy of one hour or so. Um, depends on the task and, um, you know, many factors. Um, and then uh, after that, I tend to, um, I mean, I, I spend some time setting up um, video conversion and stuff, which then runs in the background on, a, on my laptop. And then I do a little bit more programming, <clears throat> usually an hour or two, while also um, talking to people on IRC and <clears throat> trying to 
I guess just uh, responding to comments and responding to people. Like, I, I, do, I do spend a lot of time responding to people, and I don't think that I'm taking proper account of it. Because <clears throat> uh, I know some days I spend several hours just uh, writing emails and stuff. Uh, and there's always emails to respond to. Um, and that's something I was not really prepared for when I started this project. <laughs> And I mean, it's lovely to hear from everyone, but it's also a lot of work to uh, respond to people. And I'm really grateful to each and every one of you who reaches out to talk about something or to ask about something or to tell me about what you're working on, because all of that is super interesting and super fun to engage with. But I do recognize that it also takes time, and time is finite, right? And um, you know, up is up and down is down, and, and these are obvious things. But um, I do have to take it a little bit more seriously, I think, to um, limit the amount of time that I am willing to spend on interaction. Um, just in the interest of uh, productivity. But I, I really worry now like that that makes me uh, sound rude or um, self-important and I've, I don't wish to be those things and I am very very happy that people write to me and um, that people would like to talk about things that I'm working on or things that are very interesting to me and that they share what they're working on so please don't stop doing that <laughs> it's really fun and really cool um, But I, I guess time management is something that I have historically been quite bad at um, in my own life. And I very often, like, I end up in feeling like it's a good thing that I have a manager at work because then things get done that wouldn't otherwise get done. Uh, or I would have a hard time remembering to get done. And it would be a good thing if I could do that for myself in my personal life, you know, and in, in uh, working on Serenity, if I could get better at managing myself. Even if I never manage another individual, it would be good to manage myself properly, right? Anyways, so what the heck was I talking about? My schedule, <laughs> right? So 10-15 uh, minutes in the morning and then work, a little bit of Serenity on breaks here and there. And I uh, stay online on IRC throughout the day because sometimes people uh, want to chat about something simple or like they're working on something and they just need that little bit of guidance. And uh, I do have uh, I do have the time to to um, poke my head in and, and help out, um, and that's really nice. And then in the evening, it's about an hour of video making and another two or three hours of development and community engagement, let's call it. So maybe four hours a day on a weekday, uh, on a work day. And uh, obviously I have other things to take care of at home too. <clears throat> you know, buying groceries and uh, doing dishes, stuff like that, it's not gonna do itself. So some amount of time disappears, but I do try to I do try to sleep every night, uh, and I do sleep every night. I sleep well. Um, I used to I used to mess around with my sleep a lot in the past. Like I was always taking melatonin and stuff like that, and like even antihistamines sometimes just to be able to fall asleep <clears throat> because I had a very strange attitude about. Uh, putting external things in my body to make things easier or to streamline or optimize or whatever. I don't do that anymore. Uh, I just sleep natural sleep with no uh, help. And uh, it's really quite good. I sleep maybe seven and a half hours a night or something like that. And it uh, looks like the police have just busted someone for something. Probably speeding. Um, it's uh, it's actually it's good for me to record these videos because it makes me uh, makes me drive that much more carefully, um, and because like 
I feel like there's a little bit of a handicap with talking while driving, so it makes me focus a little bit more on the speed limit and stuff like that. Anyways, um, on the weekends though, I do spend more time uh, and it, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to get up in the mornings very early on weekends. Like I wake up like most people do, I guess, like at the time I would normally wake up on a weekday um, at, you know, seven-ish or something like that. And I just try to get out of bed right away because <clears throat> I used to be very different. I used to want to just uh, lie in bed on the weekend or fool around or whatever, but now I just see it as a whole day where I can just work on whatever I want. So I get up early and I'm excited and kind of happy and I just uh, <laughs> just sit down and work on my operating system. Um, and it's nice so far. Um, and I try to record at least one video per day on the weekends, but sometimes I manage to do more than one, and that puts me like a, a day or two ahead, because then I have like some videos to um, batch up or like schedule for the next day or two. Uh, it gives me a little bit of a, a breathing room there, but I don't have that now, because <laughs> I was doing bug fixing all weekend, and I was not recording, I was just going really intensely. Um, trying to fix as many things as possible. I don't know. This is, this is almost like a vlog today. Uh, I don't know where the line between vlog and not vlog really is, but I guess I'm just talking about um, something. I don't know. What the heck is a vlog anyway? Eh. Anyways, that's, uh, <laughs> that's my schedule, I suppose. Um, I do, on weekends I, I spend most of the day working on Serenity uh, and doing stuff related to Serenity. Um, I do spend some time with family and friends, but um, the bulk of the time is work on Serenity. Um, and I'm happy with that right now. It's, uh, it's giving me what I need, what I want, and it's helping me stay on the course, stay on the path. And that's good. Um, yeah. So I guess I guess that's my schedule. I, I feel like I talked so much and said so little, but maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. I, I have a hard time gauging the the content density of such personal talk, I guess. Um, but I hope that I was able to say something interesting. And uh, I'll just say thank you for hanging out with me on the commute. Um, I hope, hope your week is going okay so far. Um, please leave any questions, comments, suggestions below. I'm happy to answer anything. And I guess I will see you next time. Bye.